Here's a short explanation of the kids' party game, Kids Against Maturity. Here's the basics to start. The game, from Kids Against Maturity, is for four or more players ages 10 and up. The average game time is 30 to 90 minutes, with the objective of the game to be the player who has the most funniest responses at the end of the agreed upon rounds. Here's what's in the box. 500 cards. About one third of them are blue. These are the question cards. And about two thirds of them are white cards. Those are the answer cards. To set up, first shuffle the blue cards and leave them face down. Also, shuffle the white cards. One player is selected to be the first reader. Each player should have at least one turn as the reader per game. So if you have four players, there should be at least four rounds to the game. Everyone who is not the reader should now draw 10 of the white cards. The reader will now take one of the blue question cards and read it aloud for the whole group to hear. The other players need to answer the question or fill in the blanks by choosing one of the cards in their hand. They are trying to choose the answer that will have the funniest response. Once they have selected their card, they should pass it face down to the reader. Once the reader receives everyone's response, they should shuffle the responses in order to reveal them at random. The reader flips over the first white card, and he rereads the blue card while using the white card to answer the question or fill in the blanks. Once he has done this with the first answer, he repeats the process again for each answer, ensuring that the blue card is read each time he is revealing an answer. Once all of the answers have been revealed, the reader announces which of the answers they found the funniest. The player who gave the answer identifies themselves and receives one point for winning the round. All players return their white cards that they didn't use. The next player becomes the reader, and all other players now grab a new set of 10 white cards, and the process repeats until each player has been the reader at least once. Finally, you may come across a time where you have more than one card that you think can take the trick. If you have the points on the board, you can gamble a point and turn in two cards to the reader. If one of your cards is picked, you will get double the points for the round. However, if neither is picked, you will lose the point that you gambled, so be sure. This is just a basic version of the game, but you can always get creative and make your own ways to play. So let's give it a go. Now you know the basics, let's play.